Hey guys, so I'm Shakoa here, here with Bass Fishing Kevin. We're on our way to sail. You know, we got that winter weather here, it's December, mid December. Christmas is in about a week or so. So we're out here just stocking up, buying people gifts, checking out the deals on the baits and tackle. You know what? Keep you posted, we're almost there. Jammed in there, eh? Oh, beauty. chilly out there. Minus 20 out today in the old Ontario here. Good old Canada. Just got back from sale. Got Beautiful store. Gotta love it. Number one thing is you gotta grab the free flyers, free magazines. Always has tips, contents, you learn everything from it. The good stuff. All the good stuff. And the Timmies. Can't forget Timmy. All right, great day in uh, sale. We got a couple purchases to show you guys. Uh, a couple classics, a couple new baits we've never tried. So uh, we'll show you what we got. So uh, start me off with a nice uh, classic Booyah uh, buzz bait, black. Uh, black's key color nowadays uh, with our uh, water clarity here in Ontario. Perfect uh, color. To use uh, for those nice spring and uh, late fall bass. Um, sometimes you get some strikes from some pike, but uh, mostly we're going for bass that time of uh, the season. So uh, nice classic booyah. Um, good trick with these guys is uh, put them on a fan with a nice clothespin, um, the kind you clean your laundry with, and let it run for about overnight, so maybe about 10 hours and it wears out the blade, gives it a bit of a squeak. So uh, when you're throwing your, your uh, buzz bait around weed beds and that sort of thing, it uh, really gives you an extra uh, fish attractant because the, uh, the sound of the uh, squeak vibrates to the water more and uh, 
attracts more fish. And uh, the best time to use these booyah baits is probably early morning when the water's calm and the fish are staying near the shallows. It's best to fish along the shoreline rather than directly out casting and reeling in. Second on the list is uh, in the nice clearance bin. You always have to look out for the clearance bins. A uh, great deal is you don't have to pay full price all the time. Don't always have to get the name brands, but uh, we ended up getting the Yum um, Craws. They're called the Craw Bug. Uh, nice, classic uh, brown color. Really great uh, for trailers, for jigs, um, when you're flipping, pitching. Um, they're also good for um, just going weightless. Let it float down naturally, like it fell off a rock or swimming, or you know, have that more. The more natural, the better. Yeah. So, so he got the browns. I got the greens. They're 3.25, so three and a quarter inch. They'll be perfect, as he said, for trailers when you're flipping and pitching. Bass love them, so especially down here in Ontario. They feed on those crawfish like crazy. So that's how the smallies uh, feed up. Now we tried, I tried something new. I got some net bait. I've never really heard of them. I know white, white, pink, and green and natural brown are best colors to fish in Ontario here, especially for smallies. Nice fat smallies will eat pretty much anything. As uh, That brings me to my next item. It's got to be one of my favorites. It's a lunker hunt. Pink or natural brown is one of the best colors. You've got the, what are the sizes? I think they're five inch. Yeah, five inch worms, 10 pack. Can't go wrong, the lunker hunt been one of the main companies I've fished with all my life and still use them to this day caught my biggest fish on them lunkers are definitely a great brand check them out if you guys haven't yet and the last thing it's a super spook junior I've never ever fished with a spook I've been told my whole life to try them to grab one go with the smaller ones because like I said here in Ontario the bass seem to love them the pike seem to love them and the walleye I've heard love them too which is pickerel for some of you guys you may know so I got the Super Spook Junior, he's about the frog color, but as natural as I could find. So hopefully uh, you land some nice fish for you guys in the new season. So all these baits we're going to be throwing in the spring, obviously here in Canada, Ontario, it's snow, winter, frozen over. So uh, we got something for now that we can actually use and that's, uh, we got the Fireline fused um, ice fishing line. And I got the 10 pound here. Um, I like this line the best. It doesn't freeze over as much. It doesn't get caught in your eyelets on your uh, rods. Uh, great sensitivity. Um, it's a white color. Um, white is one of my go-to colors. I don't use blue because, you know, who uses blue fishing line? Um, fish can see it a lot easier. Even though we do throw on the uh, monofilament line, you know, a nice foot or two uh, leader there. Uh, always key. I always stick with white seems to work good for me so if you're looking for a new line for ice fishing try out the fire line seems to be pretty good and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of uh, our products uh, give us comments below uh, let us know what you guys want to see uh, without that you know um, we we're just running off of what we want to do uh, but we want you know we want to share what you guys want so yeah like we said it's middle of winter here december christmas is about a week or so so right now we're just pretty much stocking up for the springtime and just giving you guys reviews on what we like to use what you like to use you could let us know we could try those and just keep us posted we'll keep you posted hey guys thanks for watching it's kevin and simon here we're just here to say farewell uh we spent our day out here just shopping christmas shopping doing the rest of it checking out the lures stocking up so we figured we'd film a little review for you guys on a few of the items we bought of course there's more to come it's mid-december hard water's coming early january late january hopefully but yeah today was a solid day hope you guys have a good christmas we'll stay uh, up to date with you guys let you know what we're uh we're doing next and uh we'll hopefully have a video in the next week or so so uh stay tuned in for that and uh you guys have a great time as always stay out of the cabbage and keep your tips up and your lines tight peace